Coach Rhodes, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's nice to have a week off and just sort of be able to breathe, right? Absolutely. Um, recover. Just, you know, your mind is not wondering. And just take it all in. It's a good time to relax. The weather's broke here a little bit. You know, we had snow, <laughs> rain, all kind of crazy things that I'm not accustomed to, you know, coming from Atlanta, things like that. But um, it's just amazing just to have a break here. What does a bye week mean to a veteran like you in terms of how you handle it from a physical and a mental perspective? Um, for me, like I said, don't let my mind wander. I'm not pressing at all. Um, just resting up, doing all the things I need to do, getting body work, things like that, and just being ready to go when it's time to go. Julio Jones has worked so hard in this season battling back from that hamstring. You have fought and fought and fought to get back. What's been the hardest part? The hardest part is just not being able to be out there with your teammates, with your brothers. You know, um, they go into battle, and you want to go out there and, and battle with them. And when you have to stand on the sideline and watch them home, I think that's the most difficult thing for myself to endure. It hurts. It hurts. You know, um, I love the game of football. I wake up, I live, breathe football. Like, and that's why I really do it, because I love it. You had a super game against Houston on Sunday, and I thought one of the most special moments is when you caught the touchdown pass at such a key moment in the ball game. I could not get over the way your teammates were excited for you, which said to me they know how hard you fought to get back to this point. Um, absolutely. Like I said, and that's why I like to go out there and you know leave it out all, all on the field for my teammates. It's a war. It's a battle. It's whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to put on it. They got my back. I got their back. You lean on me, I'm going to lean on you. Big motto around here is just trust the guy next to you. Respect the guy next to you, because that guy next to you is going to respect you. And those guys were very excited about you know, me getting in the end zone, getting in the paint. It was a good moment. This is why you wanted to be here. This moment right now, the playoffs, a chance to win a Super Bowl. So whatever has happened, that's now over, right? Absolutely. Um, like we were just talking, you know, 12 and 5, you know, all that stuff is out the window at this point. Focus on one game, win one game. Have everything situated to go and take advantage of this bye week. You know, everybody take advantage of this bye week, whether it's rest, recovery, you know, studying, different things like that, and just self-evaluation. And that's one of the things, man, just being a pro, but also having brothers too here to like, hey, if you need somebody to talk to or communicate with, um, and myself being seasoned, being in these positions, and I've been in these positions before, you know, don't press, we're here for a reason. You're good enough. You don't need to be Superman, you don't need to be nothing else. You're good enough. Those words probably mean so much because you know, I mean, you've got the numbers. You've mm -hmm. got all the numbers right. in the world. You don't need any more numbers. Right. What this is about is rings and how you handle these moments as a football team in January. That's what gets you into February. Absolutely. Um, teams, you win in these games in the late now, postseason, it's all about team. It's no individuals and things like that. It's all about team, who has the best team. We have a hell of a team here. Was Sunday just a taste of what the Titans passing game can be in the postseason with AJ, Ferkser, Julio Jones, Westbrook Aquina, and, and the backs on and on and on? We just got to keep working. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't even feel like, you know, I played my best game on Sunday because I scout myself and self-evaluate myself and hold myself at a higher standard. But most definitely it is. I feel like we have a lot of weapons here. You just got to go out there and put it together. Can you describe how much fun this is? For me, it's just like just being a kid, man, just getting what you want. You know, being a part of something. You know, like for Christmas, you ask your parents for this or for that, and they get it for you. You know how excited you are. Um, it's like one of those moments. 